Hello and welcome back to Planet Coaster! Ladies and gentlemen, today we are having a look at the upcoming beta for Planet Coaster. This beta is going to be available this November 9th, 2016. And the folks at Frontier were kind enough to let me have a little bit of a look at this beta before it comes out. They're kind enough to let me have a look, but not kind enough to make me a featured creator yet. Come on, guys. It's just... Just give me the crown, that's all I want. That's all I want. Hashtag make Dylan a featured creator on Planet Coaster, please, thanks. There we go. So with my campaign to be a feature creator started, let's start something else, which is gonna be my campaign in the career mode in this beta of Planet Coaster. I should stress that this is a pre-release version of the beta that I'm currently playing, so there may be some bugs present in this version that aren't going to be present in the Steam version, but with that said, we are going to progress through our career mode, completing scenarios with objectives in different difficulties. And we're going to see how far we can go. So we have... We have Captain Lockjaw's Buried Treasures. You might notice I've already done one of these. That's because I was testing it. But with that said, welcome to Planet Coaster. Watch out for gunpowder as you take charge of this explosive pirate park. Build some new rides, draw in the crowds, and give your guests a swashbuckling good time. Let's start the scenario and let's get right to it. I should say, if you have watched Planet Coaster on my channel before, you'll know that a lot of that stuff has been design-focused. This isn't going to be as heavily design-focused as a lot of the stuff I've done before. I do want to get back to doing some Let's Build stuff with Planet Coaster, but I also want to try out the career mode because I think it would be a lot of fun to do. So that's what we're doing today. I will do some design focused stuff, but this is mostly about the career mode. Anyway, Pirate Battle Beta. Let's see what we got. So, easy difficulty, attract 800 guests and basically build one more ride. Medium difficulty, 900 guests and three more rides. Hard difficulty, 1,100 guests with a monthly profit of $10,000. So with that said, this is our park. And it's pretty cool. We have this beautiful wooden roller coaster over here, which is a new thing in this beta. We have ourselves the uh, big old pirate ship here, which is slightly on fire. Uh, yeah, you don't necessarily want to be in that part of the ship. We have this fella here who is uh, not on, well, that's not the greatest boat to be on, is what I'm going to say. We have uh, a few guys over here just patrolling. We have these guys up here shooting, and uh, that's apparently broken. And that looks explosive. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stand too close to that barrel, buddy. If I know video games and explosive barrels, that's not a good place to be. We also have a really cool piece of detailing up here on this tower. I love that. I love the broken window with the flames inside. That's such a nice touch, and it's so cleverly done. Anyway, we have an objective to complete, which is, uh, as we saw, 800 guests and one more ride. So... We don't have that many rides to pick from at the moment. And that's because I assume as we progress through the career, we are going to unlock more of them. So that's okay. I'm not too worried about not having too many rides right off the bat. We don't need all that many of them anyway. So I reckon since we have a rock to push over here already, it might be a good idea to go for the insanity or for the wild blue. Now the wild blue is an interesting one. It is a, it is a ride that's a little bit out there in terms of really fitting the theme. It's not very pirate-like, but I think it's what we're going to have to go for here. So we'll go ahead and throw the wild blue in just over here, I suppose. I guess here's sort of a location. Or we could throw, you know what? Let's throw the carousel in here. The carousel is not a bad, ra uh, bad ride. So we'll throw it just sort of there. I think there seems like a nice enough spot. So we'll throw it there, but I do want to raise it up a little bit. So just sort of like that, I think. So the carousel can live in that spot. Not very exciting, but that's that's no big deal. We'll throw it there. We'll put the entrance of the carousel sort of on this side. We'll put the exit for it on that side. And we'll have the entrance just sort of connect from there, I guess. And you'll notice we're using a new type of queue here. This is a hard-wearing wooden, wooden queue. Which does look pretty neat, if I do say so myself. So, uh, it's gonna go just there, and we're gonna have it connect to the pathway there. And you'll notice as well, automatic, automatic ticket booth. That's pretty cool. We do also need to connect up the exit here. So we're gonna use this, uh, maybe that one, maybe that one. 
I don't know, maybe the cobblestones? Not the cobblestones, they're a bit rough looking. Uh, what could we use? We could use this, but that's a bit much. Maybe the, maybe the red one. Maybe we just match this style over here. What did they use over here for the exit in the octopus? They used this, the, uh, the flagstone. So that could work. But I don't know. I haven't really decided what I want to use here. Uh, I think the flagstones actually look kind of nice, so we'll go with those. Ooh, that's a bit wide. Let's just do that. Let's, uh... Yeah, we'll do that as well. Then we'll lower it. Get some stairs going. Then sort of go like... Let's see. Can I turn off angle snapping, please? Just sort of do that so we get a nice little curve going that way. So, with that, the Venetian carousel is ready to open. Do I want to change the colors, though? No. No, I think the, car the colors are fine. We could change the music. That's for sure. We could also change the, uh, the operations. So we can set it to spin, spin fast. We could add another animation if we wanted to. I'll set it to spin so the ride lasts a little bit longer. And I'll set it to, uh, oh, can I open as the ride is untested? Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Can I test it? So this, this is going to test the ride. This is going to make sure it's okay. Oh, I get it. I can't open it because the test wasn't done on the new sequence that I added. So that is a really interesting feature of this beta. In that you can change the sequence of your rides. So this thing waves and bounces and spins and bounces and waves. It's really cool. It's really cool that you can change the sequence of your rides like that. What you can also change, whilst we're waiting on that thing being tested, is this sign. I can change the color of the text if I want to, which I'm going to do to that color. I could change the outline a little bit if I wanted to. I can change the banner itself if I want to. I can change the font. That's that's a really nice feature. The fact that I can like rename it to uh, whatever I want it to be, really, is just a pretty cool feature. Now, is this thing fully tested? Not yet. That's fine. We can go ahead and speed up time a little bit to get that done. And hopefully that's not going to take too long to uh, test so I can go ahead and open it. I guess what we could do is uh, run it at normal speed and start detailing around this thing a little bit. I kind of want to emulate the style. Oh, it's open. It's ready to open. Let's open it then. I kind of want to emulate the style we have over here with the uh, with this. So fortunately, I can duplicate that. Which is really useful, actually, because it means I can uh, do this so much quicker. And what I'm thinking I want to try is... Uh, just getting this to, like, line the uh, the ride real nicely. So if I do, like, that. Oh, can I not do it? Obstructed. Really? That's interesting. What way does that, uh, what, what does that curve around over here? Oh, really close to it. I don't think I could do that in the Venetian Carousel, unfortunately. I'll tell you what I could do, though. Since it has these, like, flat panels and stuff. What I can do is go to building... And I can get myself some custom buildings. I could get myself some framework. And I could if I want. Well, I can't really use this. But I could, if I went to wall decorations, get some uh, some bricks or something. That would work. There's also uh, these, which would work pretty well as well. Uh, this, I think, might be a good one. Because what I can do is uh, precisely change this thing. So it sort of goes vertically like that. I don't know how vertical that is. That's, that's pretty good. Let's just bring it back that way a little bit. So sort of like that. And then if I just lower it a bit and move it into the ride, it just looks a little bit interesting. It looks like an N, actually, which is kind of cool. But if we just raise it up a bit, I can sort of have it look like a, uh, a support. Which I think is pretty cool. It's just a nice way to make it look like uh, it sort of belongs there. So we can do a bunch of these if we want to. Which might be a bit of a pain to do, but I'm certainly going to try. Uh, so we'll put one there and bring it back a little bit just like that. Now that one doesn't seem to want to work, which is not so good. Maybe I need to lower it a bit. No, that one just doesn't want to uh, to be there. Which isn't uh, isn't good. That's, uh, that's certainly not good. I could put it there, which I think I will do. Then just maybe move this one forward. Oh, dear. Then maybe just move this one forward a little bit. We can do some uh, precision movements there and just bring it forward like that. So it sort of supports it in a different way. I don't know. It's, it's weird that it wouldn't let me place it the way I wanted to, but... Well, there we go. That sort of works. So that, that just looks interesting, I think. So I'm going to do a few of those just around the ride to, um... 
shake it up a little bit. Also, it's getting kind of dark, so let's just change the lighting here. We'll change it to um, the 3 p.m. Sorry, p.m. There we go. And lock it to that. There we go. So we don't need to worry about night time anymore. How good is that? How good is that? Don't even need to worry about night time. One of my biggest, biggest things with Planet Coaster when I was building in the past was uh, when it would get to night time, it's just like, eh, I can't be bothered with night time. I'm not really interested in night time. And now it's like, hey, you don't have to worry about night time because because uh, we got you covered. That's pretty good. That is uh, that is pretty good. I do like this. I think it needs some detail around the bottom though. So what could I do with that? I also realized I said that this wasn't going to be design focused. Apparently I lied. That wasn't an intentional lie. That was a little white lie. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of detail around this. Don't worry. A little bit of detail to make it look nice. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I do like that. Unfortunately, it's going to be too much of a pain to actually... Ooh. The wooden trim could work. If I got a couple of bits of wooden trim, I could probably make that... Uh, I could get a platform around this of some sort. Alternatively, I go to roof... Uh, pieces. I get myself a nice piece of wood in here, such as the flat wood roof or the wooden kind of paneling deck thing. The wooden deck's not so bad. But I kind of think maybe just going for this would be a better bet. Uh, so let's try that. Let's just throw one of those there and there. Why is this thing... Why does it seem like this isn't working right now? It says it's open. But it doesn't seem like it's actually functioning. Which is strange. Very, very strange. Why? You there. You there. Are you gonna, you gonna use the ride? That's peculiar. Okay. Uh, let's try just turning it off again. And then turning it back on. There we go. Okay. So, a classic solution to an age-old problem. Have you tried turning it off and on again? And apparently it worked. So, uh, now that we have this, what I want to do is just duplicate it there, and duplicate it there. Then if I just move the whole thing to sort of be under the carousel, is it the right size, is the question? You know what? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Let's just have another little go here. So if I try and throw it there and just slide it in, sort of like that, does it match up in all size? No. Oh no, that's interesting. So I might have to change this up a little bit. So something like that, perhaps? Yeah, that kind of works, I think. It's not quite even on both sides, though. So bring it this way a little bit more. Just sort of like that. That's pretty good. That'll do. I can make that work. What I want to do, though, is I want to go in and I want to get myself a few more roof pieces. And I want to see if there is a... Not that. I want to see if there's a curved piece. There it is. I knew it existed. I just wasn't entirely certain. Uh, so if we throw a couple of those in. Just like that. Just looks a little bit interesting, you know? A little bit different. And, uh... Makes it look like this thing's actually like on a platform of some sort. Which is kind of what we're going for. So if I throw that there. I can throw one just there. And I can throw one just in that spot and that spot. So... The little carousel's on its own little platform. And uh, I do want to get some of these wood supports around the whole thing. I will do that in just a second. But I think what might also be a good idea is getting some lights behind it. So if we got ourselves something like a column of some sort. I don't know what kind. A wooden one would be nice though. Something like that or something like that. That one's pretty good too. That one's quite nice. I like this one, but it doesn't actually, like, stick to the... It doesn't really do what I want it to do. I kind of want it to align to a surface in a different way, not sideways. So that's not really what I'm going for. Unfortunately. But that's fine. We can use, uh... We can use this one, I guess. We'll just sort of throw it, uh... In the corner there. It's an old classic one from uh, from Planet Coaster, but it does the job. It does the job. Let's see. What can we do with you? So that's just a little bit of wood. That's fine. Then we have this one, which is interesting, actually. I kind of like it sitting sideways like that. Because if I have it sitting sideways like that, and then I go and get some scenery, and I was to get myself a light, 
I can throw a couple of those up there. Which looks a bit strange, but I kind of like it. So let's just throw that there and throw that one on that end. Then we'll throw one just over there and uh, just there as well, I think. I could put some decorations in the middle of that. I think it might be a good idea to uh, do so. So if I get myself a little pillar, just uh, where is it? It's columns and it is that little bit, I think. Oh, that's a bit big, actually. What about that one? Nope, not that one either. That one. So if I just throw it sort of in the middle... Actually, just like that, I think. Just a little something to make it look like it's uh, kind of supported. I like that. It's very simple, but I like it. So that'll do for the time being. I kind of wanted to put some walls around this, but... I don't really think that's going to happen. I mean, it could, couldn't it? I just don't want to spend too long trying to do this. It's campaign. It's career. It doesn't need to be design focused, but I can't help myself. Uh, let's see. So if I did... I could do that, couldn't I? Seems like a little bit, a little bit much though. Uh, I like, I like that. I kind of like that as a bit of detailing just around the back. So we'll do that, and we'll get ourselves this little bit too, just to go in those spaces. Does that line up? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, so over there, and over there, and if we get ourselves one final little curve piece for under there, and under there. All right, so that looks kind of interesting. I do like- oh, that's too low, isn't it? Oh dear. Uh, it should be that height, and there, and there, and then finally, we just get this little bit at the front, like so. Alright. That looks cool. I can put some details in there. I could even get ourselves a little animatronic fella in there, so special effects. I don't think it's special effects. Props, probably. Do we have any animatronics? We do. So we could get ourselves a pirate, but I feel like this guy. Not that guy specifically, but I feel like this guy here could be guarding the carousel. I feel like that's a pretty good idea. So we'll just move him forward a little bit, and he can sort of stand there. And he can be on the lookout for uh, any bad guys. Alright, that's pretty cool. We'll put some details around it in the form of like trees or something in a little bit. We have some notifications. Uh, we're doing alright, okay. So Easy's nearly done. We haven't quite attracted the guests yet, but that's kind of because we haven't really got any exciting rides. So that's sort of to be expected in a way. In terms of uh, signs and advertising, oh, that's a question. Do we have any shops? Custom, custom shops. We have a Chief Beef, we have Cosmic Car Milkshakes, we have Entertainment Point. I don't know what this is. I don't actually know what this does. I'm curious, but I don't want to place it just yet. We have the park entrance gate, which has a lot of names on it, as you can see. Bunch of, uh, bunch of people listed on there. Not quite sure what that's all about. We have ticket booths and we have toilets. Do we have any facilities in the park just yet? I don't think we do. We have a chief beef. We do have a chief beef. We don't, I don't think, have anything else. Now, if we go down here through the spooky cave... Uh, we can have a look around this way, and yeah, there is a building with an ATM there, uh, but there's not really much else. So what I think I could do is edit this structure a little bit, which is a fairly decent sized structure, change out those bits, and I could go to shops and facilities and add a toilet in there. That doesn't seem like a bad idea to me, though it's- oh, they're actually using it, oh, are they? I think they're using it. Yeah, they're using it. I'm losing money. Can I- I could charge them to use the toilet, but that seems a little- little stingy of me. Okay, I'll leave the toilet there. It's a- it's a weird place for it, because it doesn't really blend in with anything, but... I'll leave the toilet there for now. That seems fine to me. Uh, I do feel like adding a few more shops would be a good- oh my god, the queue for the carousel is quite long there. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a small section just here, because we do have a new shop. We have, uh, Hot Dog Squad, which, you know, it's pretty neat. Uh, so we probably want to get ourselves, like, a, a little building of some sort to put one of those in. I mean, obviously, we do have the Chief Beef already, and it is a nice-looking building. Uh, but I feel like I could do something like this, too. I feel like I could make something that looks kind of nice. So let's see if we, uh, if we head over this way. 
I feel like hot dog squad could live back here. So just in this space. So let's get the shop itself. Uh, actually, let's not get the shop yet. Let's build, build the stuff for surrounding the shop and then place the shop. So I want to get some wood panels. Not classic brick. Oh, the high seas is broken. View the ride. So it's currently broken down. Let's call maintenance. Request inspection. Request refurbishment. Oi. Uh, that's expensive, but we can afford it. Let's request refurbishment and uh, hope that that thing can uh, can get back to working order pretty quickly. Here's hoping. Oh yeah, there's smoke coming from the uh, the console. You don't look like you know what you're doing there, buddy. You probably shouldn't touch any of those buttons. I'm gonna be honest. Oh yeah, it's oh god, it's completely it's broken down with people on it. So you guys are gonna be staying there for a while. I hope you're aware. No, oh, those poor guys. They're just gonna be just gonna be sat there on the high seas. They didn't, they never asked for this, but uh, they're going to have to deal with it. So we have these natural wood things here. Uh, vertical, I don't, do I want vertical panels though? Uh, metal, alloy, that doesn't, that's weird. That's futuristic, that is. Oh, I should build a futuristic, I should build a proper futuristic park. High seas has been fixed. Good, that's what I want to see. Ah, uh, here's what I'm looking for. So could that, that could be the front of the, uh, of the shop. Which seems pretty good to me. So I'll make that the front of the shop just like there. Then what I want to do is get some of the vertical paneling. For either side. Because it looks kind of interesting. Then if I sort of go up here like that. I can uh... Ooh. Oh I like that. I do like that a lot. That's actually a really interesting little piece. That I could uh, I could play with there. But let's see, if I get this, I just sort of want to throw it there. Then I want to get a bit of the horizontal paneling. Oh, actually. Oh, they've got like a, they've got a little like painted top bit there. That's kind of interesting. I forgot that the painted wood planks were even a thing. I could totally have the hot dog squad front painted. I don't think I will, but I could. It's tempting. Uh, let's just throw that in there. Since it, you know, it's two different types of wood, it just looks kind of interesting. Uh, what does the other place look like? Because I kind of want to emulate this, and I kind of don't. Uh, the sign's going to be easy to do, assuming we actually have that. Let's go over here and see what we're doing then. So Hot Dog Squad's going to be there. That's fine. The building itself is... Not going to... It doesn't have to be too big. That's for sure. So it can sort of... Be limited to like, I guess that kind of size. I think that is a bit bigger than the uh, than the chief beef, but that's all right. No big deal. We'll also go ahead and maybe see if we can uh, see if we can change this up a little bit. Let's see if I can just get like a small section of roof on there, just like that, and like that. Then on this side, I don't really know what I'd do. I guess I could continue the slope, couldn't I? Yeah, I'll continue the slope there. Uh, as for this bit at the back, um... Sure. Let's continue the slope there too. And what we'll do is just have a little tiny bit at the top of this. Uh, where someone can stand, I guess. Because that's kind of a cool thing to do. So let's look at rooftops. And see what we're playing with. Oh! Oh, I did, I did the easy bit. I did the easy bit. That's what I did. All right, so we have corrugated iron rooftops. I don't think that seems very piratey, though. It doesn't seem very piratey to me. What is this one's roof made of? I assume wood. Yes, different types of wood. Okay. So we need to remember to use as many different types of wood as possible when it comes to doing the, uh, the rooftops on this. Although I don't know if there is a sloped wood roof. Or is... Oh, there is. Wooden tiles. Look at this. Those don't look wooden, though. Those... Uh, is that wood tile... Okay. I'm gonna take your word for it, Planet Coaster, but they don't look wooden. They, uh, they, they don't look wooden. And I'm also noticing I might have to bring the front of the building back a little bit, because the slope doesn't really work, but... Yeah, we'll hope for the best. Let's see, so we have this kind of... this bit here. Which is kind of nif... it's, it's, it's kind of neat. I almost said nifty? I never say nifty. I never say neat, either. 
I've kind of, I've picked up different words lately and it's weird. Like neat and nifty, apparently. Never once in my life have I described something as nifty, but there you go. I guess there is a first time for everything. So what do I want to do with the front of this? Part of me wants to bring it, yeah, I'm going to have to bring it back. Because it's, it's not really, not really working all that great. So let's just do that. Let's move you a little bit. Then get the bits of, uh, get the bits of wool that we're going to need. So let's get me the, uh, let's get me the vertical wood types, which are in here somewhere. I think that's, is that, that's them, isn't it? Right there. So bring that up to, um, that height. And that height. Then get me this bit of, uh, wall and this bit of wall and just bring it around the sides like that. So that looks better. The, uh, the edge of the roof comes right up to the, uh, front of the building, which is kind of what I want. Then for here, I kind of just want to do a small little lip. So like that the whole way around. So it's a little bit taller. And then on top of that, I could do some details. Oh, oh, I know what I could do. What's, oh, that's the monthly, monthly summary. Okay, so what is this? Oh, what is, what is that? That's, oh, that's like a little, it's like a little roof edge thing. That's pretty cool. Why is this a, th why is it a thing? I'm not, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a like, where have you been all my life kind of way. Oh, wow, that's, that is, that is pretty cool. I'm really okay with that. In fact, I kind of wonder, would something like that kind of work done here? Sort of. It sort of works. What if I did, what if I did that and that? Oh, I don't know if that works. See, what I'm thinking is if I put them like that, I can put a little one up above. Just like... Oh, is there a flat one? Tell me there's a flat one. There's gotta be, right? No, that one's that one's not flat. I'm looking for a little, little flat one. Kind of like that, but not that. And I'm not seeing it, and that's making me kind of disappointed. That's making me kind of upset, Planet Coaster. It's making me kind of upset, and I don't like being upset. Now, where is it? Not there. Doesn't exist, does it? Doesn't exist. Okay, uh, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to change the grid size to be two meters. I'm gonna have to move these in. I'm gonna have to do that with them. Which I guess looks interesting. I also kinda wanna bring them out one so they pop a little more. But bring them out like that, and I, I guess that kinda works. I guess. It's, it's a bit strange. It is a bit strange, but it's also kind of interesting, you know? Now, what can I delete to make this uh, whole thing pop? I kind of need to, need to delete that bit, don't I? All right. Uh, let's see if we can make this building. I said this wasn't going to be design focused. I'm a filthy liar. All right, place that in there. Get me the little small bit of wood to go up there. Just like that. And uh, can I get like a wooden column of some sort that's going to match this? I mean, that kind of works, but it's a very different color. Let's do that. Let's do that. Do that and do that. And I guess I can put the sign in there and I can do some details up here to make this look pretty. Okay, let's let's finish this thing because this wasn't supposed to be design focused. Ay, I'm the worst kind of person. All right, so sink that in a little bit, then bring it up. Sort of like that, right? No, I don't want that, though. Because I'm realizing I can do that, and it looks cool, but the problem is that I, I... Hold on, why is it... Why is it going there? Why is it... There's what I wanted to do. Okay, so stick it around that way. Stick it on the back. Stick it on the this side as well. Sort of like that. No, not there. So put it around there. I need a floor up here. So I need, like, castle roof flat, or whatever this is, or... I need wood, basically. I need the, uh, the wooden roof flat. Not that one, though, because that one's too pristine. I need a wood platform. So, like... That and that. 
is kind of what I'm going for. Oh, there's Z fighting though. Don't do that. Don't, don't do Z fighting. That's the worst kind of fighting. I guess plop it there and it sort of hides it a little bit. And then I just need a railing around it. And then I put an animatronic up there and we're good. What is this? It's a wooden tile roof edge. Oh, okay. Roof supports. Oh, there's so much stuff. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with all of it. Oh, I like that. Oh, I could hide it. I could hang a sign from that. Oh, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't discover more stuff I can do. But okay. If you say so, Planet Coaster. I'll do all the stuff. Uh, how can I get this thing to, like, stick to the, the edges properly, though? I guess sort of like that. Nope. Okay. Okay. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry too much about detailing the, the, the heck out of this roof. Let me find a wooden arch. Sort of sort of like that. What is this? Oh that's nifty. That's nifty. Where am I getting these words from? <laughs> oh god. Where are they coming from? I don't say these things. I don't say them. Oh wow, some of these are really cool though. But I mean, uh, I kind of need to go with that one, don't I? The problem is, it doesn't really work. So maybe I don't do a thing up there. Maybe we just leave it for now. Maybe what we do is we get back to the plan, the, the plan I had, which was to put a hot dog stand in there, which I think goes there. Um, yeah, so hot dog stand lives there. So that's going to keep people happy. Have I got any signs, though, is the real question. So let's look for props and signs and advertising. No, I'm not seeing one. I'm not seeing one for the hot dog place. Well, that's a shame. I could have put a sign up there, but I can't. Although people seem keen. People seem really keen. All right, you know what they probably need, then? They, for one, are going to need uh, a bin. So the bin can live there. But they're also probably going to want somewhere to sit after they've had a, a nice hot dog. So we'll throw some benches just along there. Kind of like that. And that'll, that'll hopefully keep them happy. They can also have a seat there when they're done off the uh, on the, the Venetian carousel, so that's good. Uh, this doesn't look so bad. I think it just needs a little bit of detailing, though. Like around it with, like, bushes and stuff. So if I go to, like, scenery and I go to nature and I get myself some bushes, we'll go for, like, this to start with. The old classic thing that I used to detail every building with, sort of. Just around the base there. And, uh, I could throw some... I could throw a swamp tree in there. Kind of interesting. I think that could be kind of nice back there, just a little bit like, uh... Like that. Yeah, that's quite cool. It's a really interesting looking tree. Uh, we could throw a palm tree in here, too. But there aren't that many of them, I'm just noticing. Like, there's not actually that many palm trees in this area. So, uh, a birch tree is probably a better bet. So, we'll throw one there with, uh, a little hint of a red floral bush at that corner. With, uh, a little bit of, uh, a little bit more of that there, and maybe just a hint of, uh, a short palm tree sort of back there as well. And, uh, maybe back there too. Alright. That seems fine, apart from the fact it doesn't have a sign. That's kind of my only- oh, I didn't want to duplicate it, I wanted to edit it. That's kind of like my only complaint with this building right now, is it doesn't have a sign, and it kind of needs one. Uh, not the grid size down to two meters. Let's just throw that there. And let's throw a couple of the pillars at the corners as well, just to, um, make the building look, I guess, supported. So there we go. That looks alright. Get some lights on there as well, maybe? Get a window? Ooh. I haven't had a look at windows yet. Windows. What have we got? We have these. I mean, it kind of works. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. I could throw one in there, though. Or one of those ones in there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's throw one of those windows in there, and let's throw one of those windows just there. And that looks kind of cool. I like it. All right, so what else do we need? I've not really been paying attention to the uh, objective. So easy's done. We need 900 guests and two more rides. So two more rides I can do. We don't have any track rides, I don't think. Uh, custom... No, we don't. So we don't have any track rides. Coasters... 
Uh, no, we don't have any of those either that we can have currently build. So we have the carousel, which I didn't I didn't actually finish detailing that, but we'll get to it. Uh, we're going to need the insanity. So if we get the insanity, and I'll put it sort of like... What do I want to put the insanity? I guess in between both of those. That's certainly an option, but it seems like it'd be a bit of a... A bit insane, so I might decide to put the insanity back there. We could put the insanity away over there. That's always- hold on, what's over there? What is in this cave? I haven't had a look in here. What is this? There's a fire? Is that it? Is- Is that- does that just ex Oh, there's a thing in the hill. Can I go to that? Is that actually a- Oh, wow. What is this doing up here? Why is- why is that a thing? This item is locked, so I can't edit it? Why is- There's another one. There's another one over there! I haven't noticed these! What?! What- <laughs> What the- Oh, hold on a minute, what is that? That's just a tray, right? That's fine. What is this? Why is this even out here? That's so strange. It's a nice little building and all, but I mean, that's a really weird and okay. Many guests are complaining about litter. Okay, I'll I'll sort the guests. Don't worry about that. And then there's a thing here as well, and oh, there's so many things I just didn't notice. Okay. Uh guests are complaining about litter. Let's go to park management. Let's go to staff. So we need a more janitors, one assumes. So we'll get ourselves a janitor. We'll throw him there. Nicky Colon, all right. So we could tr we could train him. Uh, let's. How do we train him? Can't train until June sixteenth. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, something tells me we should get more trash cans. More trash cans seems like a pretty good idea. So let's get ourselves some barrel bins just along here, just like that, and uh, we'll get one just up there as well. And uh, we maybe want to get one sort of. We have one there already. We have one at some of the bridge already. By the way, can I just point out, this bridge is beautiful. Like, the, the way they've built the bridge is just really nice. So much of this park's really nice. I'm jealous of whoever built it. It's so good. Uh, like, <laughs> this is about all I can do. What you're seeing here is about what I can do. Uh, speaking of which, I can move that, couldn't I? Like, I can move it and get it more central if I wanted to. But I'm not gonna bother. It's... I've committed to the terrible look of the carousel. I just need to finish it at some point. That's kind of a thing I need to do. Anyway, ladies and gents, I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode of uh, Planet Coaster's beta career mode thing. Uh, next time, we're probably going to want to look into medium difficulty and possibly hard. Shouldn't be too difficult to do hard mode or hard difficulty. Because really all we need to do is just get those extra two rides. So... We'll get those done, and everything should be gravy. So, uh, thank you again for watching. This has been uh, part one of our Planet Coaster career mode Let's Play, I suppose. Like I said at the beginning, I will eventually be getting back into doing more creative stuff, but uh, if you like this kind of rambly format for Planet Coaster, do feel free to let me know. I'm sure it's not for everybody, but I'm enjoying it, so hopefully you are too. And with that, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!